This is Lisa. She is 38 years old and works at a Norwegian university. Lisa has a PhD degree. She is very ambitious and extremely captivated by her work. In her spare time, Lisa loves spending time with her family and keeping fit. She dreams of becoming the leading scientist in her field and to one day climb Mount Kilimanjaro. The university where Lisa works is involved in fostering a health-promoting work environment for their employees and that all employees experience their work as meaningful. The university focuses on both beneficial and potentially harmful psychosocial work environment factors. All employers are required to partake in systematic health environment and safety activities, as stated by the Norwegian Working Environment Act. This involves activities such as surveying potential dangers and threats and controlling or eliminating these to prevent work-related injuries or illnesses. This has been and is an important aspect. But the absence of negative factors does not necessarily lead to blooming employees. To achieve this, it is also important to pay attention to positive factors, those factors that enrich us. The job demands resources model states that there will always exist some job demands, factors that we experience as burdens. These may be conflicts between colleagues, feeling that different people have different expectations of you, or high work pressure. There can also be stressful events, or feeling that your own work tasks and responsibilities are unclear sometimes very unclear. Some demands can also be positive. These are demands that challenge us, but also offer the opportunity for personal development and achievement. Job resources are those aspects that lead us to experience our work as positive and rewarding. These can be factors such as an open and positive colleague fellowship, being able to influence one's own work, opportunities for growth and development, and clearly defined achievable goals. Research has shown us that job demands and resources represent two parallel processes. Some job demands can lead us into a health-reducing process, which in worst case may lead to the development of illness. Job resources lead to a motivation process. Job resources contribute to reducing the adverse effects of job demands, help us achieve our goals, and lead to personal growth, learning, and development. Job resources and challenging job demands help create work engagement, which we know influences employee behavior, organizational commitment, well-being, health and productivity in a way that is positive for both individual employee and the organization as a whole. The perceived factors that may lead to a motivational process or a health-reducing process will vary from individual to individual and from workplace to workplace. For some people, having the freedom to decide how to tackle and accomplish the task is viewed as a necessary requirement. While in others, the freedom may lead to anxiety and insecurity. From this we can conclude that only focusing on the prevention of risks will at best not lead to any positive development and we will remain at a standstill. If it is so that that which we focus on shapes our perceptions by solely focusing on harmful factors that lead to illness, we might risk only being able to see the negative. To ensure a health-promoting workplace, it is therefore necessary to go beyond the traditional prevention perspective. We need to strengthen those factors that contribute to the balance between job demands and resources. We cannot merely remove all job demands. We also need to reinforce job resources. This leads to positive effects for both employee and employer.